Hello, thanks for joining me for a few moments today. My name is Trudy Hughes, and I'm privileged and honored to be the executive director here at the Aramont School of Arts and Crafts. I'm a few weeks into the job now, and I thought I'd spend some time with you. My history goes back a long way with Aramont. Uh, 1967, I was here with my parents. We came to Gatlinburg often then. Both my parents loved the small mountain rural town. It was very much like the community I grew up in, but it was a great weekend getaway. And part of that getaway always included Aramont. It helped me in two ways. One, it helped me really to appreciate the culture and heritage that is Appalachian art and craft, and now the expanded arts and crafts that we appreciate as persons travel to Aramont from across the country and around the planet to share their great knowledge and expertise and creativity. But what it also taught me that was most foundational for me is I viewed so much of the arts and crafts that were created in my home by my grandmother as just something nice to do or something that she had to do. Uh, she was a fabulous quilter. She was fabulous in everything from weaving and knitting and crochet and all sorts of needlepoint but I saw them as serving a function within our home. She did those because that's what she had grown up learning to do in order to sustain and keep the family moving forward. Suddenly, trips to Aramont infused a whole layer of knowledge over that. My grandmother was an artisan. She wasn't just my granny who knew how to do all these neat things. She was an artist, and so suddenly I valued her attributes, her techniques, her skills, her knowledge in a way I'd never done before. I hope that would have happened anyway, but I credit Aramont for really pushing me down that path and nurturing that knowledge and that appreciation. So I grew up, went away to school, had my own family, and suddenly we were coming back to Gatlinburg maybe once a year with two small boys, and I always wanted that trip to include time at Aramont. I wanted them to have the same experiences that I'd been able to have and develop that same knowledge and appreciation and respect for everything that is the Appalachian art and craft movement. Life moved on, career evolved and ebbed and flowed and I was able to work for the East Tennessee Foundation for a number of years. And in doing so, again, had the opportunity to deepen and enrich my relationship with Aramont. We journeyed together through the fires after they raged through Sevier County in 2016. Was able to work with a host of individuals and organizations here, again, one of them being Aramont. So through special events and donor engagements and just wonderful life experiences throughout my life with Aramont, when this opportunity came to be considered as someone who would work with this dynamic team and amazing board, I was honored. I mean, I'm not an artist. I'm the kid in fourth grade that they sent back to music class because I didn't have any artistic talent. But Aramont persevered with me and they helped me look at it and look at what are some strengths and skills and attributes that I could bring. So maybe it's okay that it's not an artist at the helm here uh, at Aramont, but what this person is learning is, you know, it's okay that I went back to music class in fourth grade uh, because I do have some creativity and the areas that I have creativity in I can really use with a dynamic, creative, artistic team here, and we can move Aramont forward just as it's been moved forward over the last hundred years. Look out world, we've got great things that are gonna happen here at Aramont in the next hundred years.